Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Right. It is 440. I have my little home base for charging set up here. Um, I'm hoping to be out of here at around five, which uh, I say hoping. I'm actually trying to delay because I woke up uh, way ahead of schedule. My uh, leg was uh, bothering me and I couldn't sleep. So uh, I decided to uh, get out of the house closer to three. So been killing time because I don't know, I should have started anyway with the flashlight, but uh, anyway. Sure you can't see it, but there is the beast. I'm gonna be uh, pulling that outside and locking things up. All right, I have begun. I have started my, oh God, I gotta name it. Uh, GGG, I don't know. Started that. So what am I doing? I am uh, going for 16 hours starting about now. Uh, I think I will try to zip up my jacket. Oh God, where's my zipper? There it is. I think I might start over. Because I want to put a better name for my trip thing. Let's, uh, let's see if we can make that happen. Am I tail light should be pretty bright I guess but let's try this again finish tour title optional uh, okay FGH I'll rename it later So today I'm choosing to go south first to the ocean. Let's see if the entrance is open. Ooh, uh, it is open, but not easy. Nothing is easy. So what am I on? I am on a modified Master Pro that I'm calling the Master Pro Pro. 9,600 watt hours, modified firmware, um, modified hardware for charging. Uh, should be able to charge it around, uh, well, I, I am charging at 50 amps. Uh, let's see here. What else did I do? Nothing much. It's uh, we'll just call it a stock Master Pro, just to annoy everybody. Okay. Oh, there's stuff on the trail here, but yeah, I do think uh, flashlight is helpful. That does help a lot. Well, yeah, we should get daylight in uh, about 45 minutes. Yeah, still am no good for sitting, but I am a lot better off for riding than I was last time I tried this. So, last time I was, uh, it took me a while to work my way up to uh, 40, and now I am already over 40. And I forgot I don't need to look down at the wheel anymore to see that because I mounted that on my chin okay so i'll uh do more recording once we have daylight and uh, give a little more exposition so yeah i was planning on holding uh closer to 40 miles an hour 
uh, having issues doing so because uh, it's dark and I don't want to outride my flashlight and uh, when the ground is all weird ungulated it's kind of hard to see even with the flashlight and it's a trail that I know so I don't have much of an excuse but uh but yeah playing it safe because uh I don't know as soon as I got on the trail there were things on there that I could have could have hit and I don't want to hit stuff so anyway trying to get my average speed up higher on these uh, nice simple sections of trail still not sitting because uh that still hurts so anyway we'll see what happens in the long run just had a guy turn the headlight off on his bicycle as he was coming the other direction uh that's nice i made sure i turned my pointed mine all the way down to the right maybe that's what prompted him to do his i don't know but anyway that's a courteous thing it's nice Thank you, gentlemen. All right, first rest break. Uh, this is just where I turn around. I can go down around that curve to the ocean, which uh, sure it's pretty and all, but uh, yeah, I uh, like being able to rest the wheel up against this bench. I did forget to... Um, uh, what did I, ah, hang on. Lots of coyotes here. There was just a group of three. Rolling down the trail. I got uh, Credence Clearwater uh, channel playing on my, uh, my Cardo. Um, mixes in some other stuff as well. But uh, yeah, going good so far. Leg is not killing me. It's reminding me, but that's about it. All right, so a little stat update for the start of the ride. You can actually probably see that okay from uh, there. Um, average moving speed is 34.2. My speed's actually gone up a little bit now that daylight has come out. It's uh, pretty easy to hold 40 plus. So I'll do as much of that as I can. Um, Average overall speed is also over 30, which was my goal last time. So we'll see if I can keep that alive. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, going much better this time around. Pretty much back at the start of my run today. I started across the street there. Now I'm heading uh, north to Corona. And uh, then I'll come back here again. Uh, not the most exciting ride ever, but uh efficient and uh it should help me accomplish the goal okay here is the spot where i didn't realize i was supposed to turn left and instead i went straight and it turned into a dirt road so now i'm turning left and uh we'll see if i can figure out how to continue the path through i've gotten a couple pointers let's see if they help me out so the Part of the trail I was on was sketchy, so I got on the road, and now look how beautiful the trail down there is. But anyway, the road is also pretty wonderful. So, we'll see what happens. I'll try to see where the trail goes. All right, did a U-turn, and I'm uh, now on the trail, paralleling the road that I was just on. So heading back to the beach, which should be a uh, 30 some mile trip, I guess. So we'll see, so far I've done about 30. Oh, so it'll be less than 30. I don't know, everything is shorter than I think. Oh yeah, there's uh, stats. And what have I done so far? 39.5 miles. Also, uh, let's see, I've been going for uh, an hour and 15 minutes and I'm down one bar. All right, I am now down two bars and I am, uh, let's see, 120 volts it says and 50 miles in. So 
that's not that great but i am definitely going faster than i was last time so anyway we'll see how everything works out that's a, a better view of the map of where i'm going what i'm doing oh yeah and i'm keeping my phone off because uh the battery on that's down to like 65 percent and i don't want it to die on me I am two hours in, two hours and three minutes. Uh, let's see, average moving speed of 34 and uh, overall 32. Might be able to get that up to 33, except for, I think I'm gonna have to stop and stretch my legs a little more often. My, uh, my left leg kind of is uh, cramping up a little bit. Wonder why, what's up with that leg? Anyway. Um, Heading towards my usual uh, beach bench, which is before the beach. And uh, that's where I will stop, massage my calf a little bit and do an about face and head on back north. So there's the beach and there's my bench. I'm gonna do a little break and a turn around. Still making decent time. Looks like their baby got a flat tire. I don't know what's going on there. But uh, let's see, I've only visited the coast twice and uh, Corona once. So heading for my second Corona visit. Um, but yeah, still pretty far south. So ways to go until I do that. Um, trying to find excuses to stop back at my shop again. But uh I don't know, maybe I should run my battery down more. Excuses as in, I want to take a, like a better rest. But I've been doing, uh, I don't know, one minute, two minute rests at the end of each leg. And the leg being uh, Corona to the beach, one leg, the beach to Corona, one leg. And that's when I get off the wheel and uh, take a couple steps and get back on the wheel. We've got a lot more bikes. There was just a guy like, uh, doing a rappel down the the thing here on the side excuse me thank you much oh yeah uh yeah it's a it's a circus out here sometimes and uh i'm part of it so i must embrace uh, i think i've been recording that whole time that's no good no i wasn't i'm fine okay so i just wanted to uh to say that I am heading to the beach and uh, then I will be going back to Stone Age for a charge stop. And that is because I'm at 110 volts right now and that should put me to Stone Age at around 105 volts maybe, maybe even less. But uh, well, yeah, it'll be good to rest my legs even though I've only gone 107 miles right now so i'll probably be i don't know 115 120 miles by the time i get there we'll see not sure why but i've got a bms beep from one of my uh, uh 12 batteries don't know which one yeah lots of uh lots of traffic and a lot less coyotes now that uh there's plenty of people out and about uh yeah i'm keeping my speed a little lower than i used to um but yeah also a little little concerned why my wheel is uh doing that beep thing so my guess is almost every single euc fire is preceded by one of those beeps uh unless the uh, bms is just totally offline then you don't get one of those beeps but uh but yeah uh, i'm heading to the shop gonna plug it in i've got a multimeter uh ready to check stuff out but i'm not planning on disassembling the packs and actually uh checking cell voltages individually or anything just gonna be able to check pack voltages nothing more so but we'll see We'll see what I get. Oh yeah, also, I have no idea how long the low battery beeps have been going. Maybe, I don't know, I haven't been recording anything either, so 
I don't have a way to figure it out after the fact, but uh, I didn't notice it until I turned my music off because uh, I guess I've been missing all my notifications on my phone and I was just trying to figure out why. So, uh, anyway, there, quieted down. Or maybe because I'm going faster now. Yeah, now I'm going too fast to hear it. But we'll see what's up. All right, heading back to Stone Age for a, uh, a charge and a rest, which uh, is good because I'm down to one bar. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, 108 volts here, which says 9% battery, but that percentage doesn't mean anything. I was ignoring that regardless. die strong what doesn't kill you makes you stronger until it kills you
is me leaving the trail. Uh, oh good, they finished this construction. Last, uh, last time through here, last week, this was a major pain in the ass, but now it looks pretty doable. So down to 103 volts. But not like a bad 103 volts. It's a good 103 volts. And I'm on the right side here so I can hug this. No problem. That car is going annoyingly slow. I wanted to give them room just in case they decided to get back on the freeway. Well, I wouldn't have made that light anyway. Slow so that I don't have to actually stop for the light. Guess I can run it if that. Up oh, there we go. Go Honda, go Accord. Okay. Oh yeah, gonna go plug in and uh, drain some fluids. Okay, so charge stop number one says uh, 125 miles on my uh, my trip. Uh, average speed. Uh, 31.7 which is I'm sure plummeting now that I'm stopped to charge it still says 0% battery 105.2 volts is I guess what I ended at um, but yeah it was showing like a hundred oh it was showing less but uh yeah there's my uh, my trip info but looking for my wheel good luck with that I was just going down the trail like this and uh, one of the guys on a bike I was like deciding he wanted to go to the park. I saw him look behind and then start going and then I yelled and then he swerved back to the right. But uh, yeah, I guess people go through the motions. They don't actually look. They just like turn their head because they know they're supposed to. But uh, anyway, I survived. He survived. Everyone's good. So the uh, last Sunday ride was going to eat at King's Fish House, which is a the spot off of this trail, but I guess uh, they they changed their plans. Will so uh, anyway, uh, maybe next time we'll meet up. But today I don't think it's gonna work out. Anyway, I'm dying anyway. I might be dead by the time uh, this challenge is over. So when I see that stuff, I know I'm close to home base. Although I am not stopping at home base. But I am moving my pads. It's just like uh, digging into my left shin. I kept thinking it's because my leg was hurt. And then I looked down and my foot's actually pretty far back. So I think uh, the pads are not even. So let me fix that up next spot. I feel comfortable stopping. Taking a break to say hi to a person on an SA-18. Oh, fuck. Yes, it is. What's going on? I'm going on, I'm Gabe. Gabe, how you doing? You bought a charger from me, didn't you? Uh, no? No, I was talking okay. about it. Okay, uh, no worries. I'm broke. That's a big wheel you got. Yeah, I, I fucking yeah. made it. I gotta keep going. I'm doing uh, the 16 hour challenge. Oh, okay, how fast are you riding? Uh, usually around uh, 38. So oh, you're kind of out. Yeah. Sorry, man. All right. But well, do your thing. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck, well, man. How this long would be. For? Uh, since 5 a.m. Just back and forth and my leg is effed up so this is horrible but okay. let me do what i can do okay anyway i'll see uh, it? if i can win all right there we go local rider gabe but yeah that's cool just seeing somebody on the trail uh that actually knew me kind of fun he wasn't even looking at the thing, not out here because I have my live location on. Just because. Anyway, let's see if we see other people. Okay, back to the beach. Back to my bench. Going to uh, take a little weight off. Stretch out for a second. Uh, okay, stretch that out a bit and check my phone. <sighs> Eevees, they were fun. Another self-balancing device, a one wheel. Am 
my wheel is bigger but it is also of only one so I've been doing some seated riding which is good it's not easy I get my butt down on the seat um, the hard part is actually getting up again without having my leg uh, refuse to straighten so minor safety concern but for now I think it's okay getting better at the seated rided riding thing uh, yeah I uh, still feel like my legs gonna fall off but it hasn't yet <sighs> uh, I'm thirsty and uh, I don't know whatever other excuses insert excuse here I'm going to do another stop at the shop And then you're going uh, to keep getting further and further. Does that. Anyway, let's, uh, I'm heading to my shop. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, I, need, I just need a break. This, this damn thing has too much range. On your left. On your left. Thank you. I'm so glad I've got Chris Torina in tow behind me. Uh, maybe I'll even uh get a bite to eat with him while I charge although this will be only a partial charge which is a bummer but anyway I'll figure it out Wait. yes you're, these you're, scooter guys your dot was stopped right there so I figured you pulled over to the park or something and just yeah, grabbed a bite to eat and I was like I'm getting close okay so and here your dot ended up at Huntington Beach I was like shit that's one stop and uh, I am now at 233.47 miles dropped below 30 mile per hour average uh, oh well but we will do what we can do okay I gotta put stuff on charge hey Chris what's happening what are you doing today I'm riding with you ah so you decided to skip the last Sunday ride for you and you decided to skip Marty's uh, Gleason Mountain Ride? For you. Well, thank you, Chris. I, wanted, I didn't want you to do this by yourself. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So now... I'm your cheerleader. 
He can watch me be miserable. <laughs> okay, so where we're at right now is um, I am charging the wheel up at 50 amps. I am currently at 130 volts, and I'm thinking it's about uh, time to think of uh, wrapping stuff up here so that I could hit the trail again so that I could do one and a half runs yes. and that should get me what I need to get uh, it's so hard to walk and it's so hard to sit but I've been riding seated yeah I've seen it yeah yes and getting up from seated that's the part that's scary because sometimes it doesn't work right sometimes my leg doesn't work and I'm like oh, oh whoa and uh, yeah I haven't ended up in the river yet so we're good so uh, Chris Tarina is riding with me, but I lost him. So he knows where we're going, so uh, he will catch up soon enough. I was, uh, I don't know, straightening out the trail. So, and I was also hanging out around 50 miles per hour. So maybe I'll slow down a little bit if the wind picks up and then he'll outpace me and then he'll catch up we'll see what happens every single time i've gone to the car today i've forgotten my my bell my ringer my chime all that stuff to alert people i've just been yelling at people all day but i guess that works pretty good so chris uh seems to have a similar experience with this part of the trail as me he thought this is kind of the end of it so I'll show him how it goes after this. On your left. I'm having trouble straightening my left leg. There we go, I got it, okay. I was just being a baby. But yeah, it's good to be able to straighten it if you have to slow down with more than just your right leg. So now I'm okay. But then I'll sit again, and then I'll be screwed again. We'll see what happens. So, taking a uh, two minute rest break at the Catella entrance to the Santa Ana River Trail, we are about to head north. Wait, no, we just came from north. We're going south to the beach. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, we turned around, it confused me. You tend to get lost, yeah. <sighs> Okay. And end of break. Oh my God, it hurts so much, just so everybody knows. All right, so Chris was following me. I thought I lost him and he turned back to head out, but uh, apparently his charger is at my shop. So heading back to my shop to uh, let him grab his uh, charger and get some volts in his wheel. So. And that'll also let me rest my leg a little bit, and uh, then I'll probably have, I don't know, what, three hours? Yeah, then I'll have three hours left of riding, so I'll charge, and then I'll do the final hurrah. We will see. So I am most certainly not going to be hitting my 400 mile mark, which was my goal. And uh, this is for a couple of reasons. The first half of the day, I couldn't ride seated. And, uh, and now I can ride seated, but my leg is just like, I can't really use it to brake or turn or anything. So I'm going slow for that reason. So anyway, it's a bummer. Um, just uh, got injured at the wrong time. I'll try to get injured at the right time next time. Shortcut. Well, now that Chris Tarina is out of the mix, uh, Don has uh, dropped in from the last Sunday ride, which uh, I guess was a little uh, eventful. I guess uh, Yoshi might have had a, a thing happen. So we'll see what he decides to post and what we'll talk about. A little more than an hour until 9 p.m. I am going to uh, 
overshoot it by a bit uh, just because my uh, my starting position wasn't uh, super great so if I can do you know an extra two minutes after and replace the first two minutes mm-hmm makes sense that's using the old Kanagan um, but yeah so uh, it was only torturous because I'm injured if I was in good physical shape uh, this might have actually been kind of fun my back is starting to get a little achy now but um, but yeah I kind of was preparing ahead of time by doing back exercises to make sure it wouldn't hurt and it's not really bothering me but uh but yeah so back exercises do them stretches all that stuff makes your life so much better when your back hurts things suck anyway um looks like i am right around hang on let's let's not guess let's get actual numbers with one hour to go i am at Oh god, something ha- oh, because I went under the thing. It freaks out. 338 miles. So, I'll see if I can get uh, 350. Looks like that shouldn't be a problem. Try to get a little more than 350 just to pad it up good. But, uh, yeah. So, if I had a nice, simple, straight road, this would have been a breeze. But dodging all these people on a holiday weekend on this bike path was uh dumb but hey it worked just wasn't the best so you can see i got 362 miles that was my total it um it was a fun ride kind of um the pain and everything was annoying but uh things got a little wacky in the evening when the bugs came out so if you see there was like one line that i went back and forth on the map um at great length over and over again and then it veers off at some point now why did it veer off that is because the freaking bugs on the river trail turned into like a thick meaty soup that was uh I'm riding down the river trail. They're exploding on my face. And my face is covered in this wetness that I know is bug guts. And it was, um, just thinking of it again is kind of making me sick. So I had to leave the trail and I took surface streets around for the last, I don't know, 40 minutes or hour or whatever. And, uh, and yeah, it also kind of left a, a little bit of, uh, in me that I, I ended up, uh, dropping early so uh i still had 10 more minutes to keep going but uh but yeah i was covered in bug guts and they were um i wore goggles and they somehow got through my goggles and into my mouth and my nose it was like a thick cloud of bugs but uh, i did what i had to do i uh, missed my target by 40 miles which uh, if i was to do this over again i'm pretty darn sure i could uh decimate the number that I put up um, on this run uh, and I'll probably end up doing it if uh, E-Wheels decides to uh, organize another competition like this. Um, this time hopefully they don't let people start posting their data early because uh, that that sort of um, made the organizers think that nobody was actually doing it because nobody's posting their data because I don't want to post that I got 362 miles because then there's a target on my back and then the next person has to get 362 miles plus and then I get knocked out and then do I want to do it again another 16 hours or do I want to do my best effort and let it just sit there um, and then be judged against other people's best efforts but you know once you have a a target then uh, it's pretty I don't know it's pretty easy to get that target going I think all right well the competition is pretty much over and I am in first place but um, as you can see there's Dawn on my wheel and I've been coaching her and uh, doing everything I could to make sure that uh, she actually knocks me out of the first place spot so 
Um, but yeah, we've been going over the speeds that she should be riding and the routes that she should be taking and all that stuff. And uh, anyway, uh, it's looking like she should be beating me by about 10 miles, uh, maybe a little more if all goes well. So that's kind of interesting, right? Okay, Dawn did an amazing job. You can see she got the second place spot there. Um, so the issue was the wind for her was kicking up at the end of the day and it was becoming pretty hard to keep rolling and things are actually worse than uh, I may be leading on right now because she did end up having quite a disastrous crash and uh, is still a bit injured at this time so she got some road rash some um, bruised ribs and uh, She's also uh, suffering from, I don't know if you've ever had any like internal damage where like I've had uh, kidney and spleen damage and it's just the weirdest, most annoying pain that's like twisting and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's no good. And she's suffering through that right now. So, um, so she did uh, ultimately actually get more miles than me, but she did it over 16 hours and 11 minutes. And when the folks at eWheels uh, put her uh, GPX file through the ringer and scrutinized it for a 16 hour period, uh, they came up with 361.44 miles, uh, which put her a couple miles behind me. Um, and I did my, uh, my run also, I, I cut it short. I, I skipped out 10 minutes early just because uh, my leg was killing me. But uh, anyway, uh, the wheel will get rebuilt. Uh, Don will get rebuilt. Uh, I think next time we do this, um, we're going to maybe look into the weather a little bit more before. I had some, uh, some wind issues also, but it's really strange. When you're going that far on distance, even if you're kind of trying to stay near a home base, you can get pretty far away and uh, find different weather patterns and things. And I know when I was heading out to Corona, every time I'd really get out that direction, the wind would start kicking my butt also. This just in also got word from uh, eWheels today that uh, they feel the pain from uh, me and from Don um, and are going to uh, pay for all of the parts necessary for me to repair my wheel. Um, so that is a lot of the parts that uh, go into the wheel to be built. So I've got uh, battery cases, BMSs, uh, mainboard chassis, cover, uh, mainboard, um, a voltage distribution board, and a lot of my parts that I used are from a V1 master, so hopefully there is stock of some of this stuff, but uh, gonna get things put back together and you will see me and Don both uh, attempting to break uh, the 400 mile range the next time this enters the ether of the EUC world community. By that I mean the community of EUC. Nothing to do with the program, although EUC world, that was my first time uh, messing with it and it's pretty darn good. I did dig EUC World. Uh, it is not available for iOS, but uh, when it is, I may uh, I may venture into that on my phone as well if it uh, measures up on iOS the same way it does on Android. Thanks for joining me and eWheels on this uh, long distance journey and I'm uh, looking forward to seeing y'all again on the next one. Thank you very much. This is Roger EUC going to bed.